I'm Gilbert Bernal, and here's the latest from the Cougar Newsroom. The Yes I Can nonprofit organization is working to chop unemployment in the Santa Clarita Valley. Onions too. Actually. Now students with the organization are able to learn trade skills from local businesses under the paid intern program. I, I, this, is, this is good. Why not? Let's see what they got. I think these guys, they can provide more. You see how he cut the parsley? Look at this parsley, look. It's like a sand. That's how I want. Yeah, I was just crossing the street right here at Stevenson Ranch in the Old Road. I was going west, and I saw the police coming up the street. Looked like they were going on an emergency call. They had the lights on and everything. As I got halfway across the street, I ran, and as soon as I got over there, this white car came from the west, headed east, and he crashed into the police car right in the middle of the intersection, right in front of everybody. I was driving, and I started feeling some vibration, like really bad. And I slowed down coming down this way. Out of nowhere, I was in the middle lane. I just felt my tire, the back tire go in. I couldn't get no control of the car. And I think I flipped twice, cause I felt that boom, 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 you know? Then when I opened my eyes, I was already down like that. I, I turned the car off automatically. I turned the car off and I stereo off and all that, you know? But I was just like, I was, I, I was in shock that this happened to me right now. Today is going to be a good day for the community here at Saugus High School. Uh, we've been preparing and I'm so, so encouraged to see all the folks on campus to welcome our students back and let them know that they're cared and loved for. I feel the need to begin any statement uh, just to ask for our community and for the nation to continue praying for the families of Gracie and Dominic. Uh, we will not forget that this situation is one that involves families that, whose lives have been shattered by what happened this past week. And we are committed to doing whatever we can to assist them, to love them, and to help them through this process. But today is a day that we've set aside for students to come back on campus, to reunify with the things that they left on campus, and to do so surrounded by adults um, who love and care for them. And so if you were to step onto campus, you'd see that there are law enforcement officials, mental health professionals, teachers, administrators, parents, everybody there um, uh, supporting students as they walk on campus. Is Sean was using blue? Yeah. Uh, we got rushed out very quickly and I had to get both my bikes and all that. I have to walk home. Um, this bike I had ridden to school and uh, it was locked up. And so when the police rushed us out, I, you know, I couldn't get it and they wouldn't let us back on to get anything, so I had to use this bike. And so now I'm picking them both up. I'm the head cheer coach for Castaic High School. My girls have definitely been affected by this. I have a bunch of girls that are from this Saugus area and a lot of people that they're friends with. And so yesterday we decided that we needed to grieve together as a team and stand together with Saugus. We made posters for Saugus then. They wanted me to come and put them at the memorial so that that was like their way of grieving and coming together. So today at about 2.30, uh, there were a number of deputies who had just left a uh, briefing that were driving out of the station parking lot on the west side of the property, on the west side of the sheriff's station here at Santa Clarita. There is an employee-only, uh, law enforcement-only parking lot where our radio cars are kept, where deputies come in to book prisoners, to uh, begin their shifts and end their shifts, and that is the secure parking lot that the deputies were driving northbound through to uh, go out into the field to start their work days when suddenly a man appeared who was walking on foot. He had a uh, handgun in his hand. The deputies stopped their cars. They got out of their cars. They attempted to detain the man at gunpoint, uh, ordered him numerous times to drop the firearm. Uh, the suspect apparently refused. At some point, a deputy involved shooting occurred. One deputy fired two rounds, striking the suspect who was transported to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead.